Hi Bubble Bees, how are you today? Today we're going to be doing some arts and crafts all based on the artwork and illustrations of Eric Carl. So the first book we read by Eric Carl was The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So the first pattern or illustration we're going to be making our own version of is this one. So I came up with two different ways we can try and make that pattern all by ourselves. The first way is to be making a collage out of paper. So tearing paper is really good for strengthening those muscles in your fingers. So we could take paper, any color, and rip it into little pieces and then use a glue stick to glue it on. So I'm gonna finish my collage now by gluing it down. And here I have all different colored shapes just like it has in the picture. And on the picture it had a lot of dots. So some of you might have dot markers at home. So I'm gonna use my dot marker to put some dots on the collage. So there's my Eric Carl pattern. And for those of you who don't have dot markers at home, you could use different household items to make a dot. So I have a cotton ball. Some of you might have them in your bathroom. So I'm gonna take my cotton ball. I'm gonna dip it in some paint. Okay. And make some spots with my cotton ball. Okay. So those are, that's one way you can make that kind of pattern. So I'll let this over here to dry. And another way we can make that pattern is by using sponges. So what's really cool about a sponge is you can cut it up to make different shapes. So I have two different sizes here and I'm going to use paint that I made myself. So this is from a recipe that we linked on Friday. All you need is flour, salt, and water, and a little bit of food dye if you have at home. So I made red and yellow paint, and I'm going to make a collage using a sponge. So I'm going to dip it into my bowl. And if you have a clothespin at home, or even a toothpick, or a popsicle stick, you can stick it into the sponge so it has a little bit of a handle, but I couldn't find that, so I'm just using the sponge. And I'm going to make some red marks with my sponge, and then I'll use the bigger sponge in the yellow. Okay. And the best part about this is if you overlap them, the colors mix. Okay, friends, so what color do red and yellow make? When you overlap them and it dries, you might see some orange. So that's a really cool way to make a collage just like that. And you can use different shapes, different sizes, any color you'd like. So that's another way to make the pattern that we saw inside a very hungry caterpillar. Okay, the next pattern we're going to be doing is the one we see inside a house for hermit crab. Okay, so it's a bunch of stripes and colors and some squiggles. So I'll show you a way we can do that. So I have another piece of paper here and I have a plate of paint. So this is acrylic paint that I got from the store but you can use homemade paint or a Crayola paint, any kind of paint you want. So I'm gonna use a paintbrush. I'm gonna make one big stripe of green. I'm gonna paint it on really thick. Okay, so you can use a paintbrush or if you have this kind of paintbrush, this works also. So I'm gonna use that for some purple. Another thick stripe here. Okay. And then, again, if you don't have a paintbrush, you can use a sponge. I'm gonna use a sponge for my next color. I have four colors here, but you can use two, you can use 10, however many you want. I'm gonna make my next stripe with a sponge. And it's okay if they overlap because the colors will mix together. All right. And then my last stripe I'm gonna make with a cotton ball. Or if you have a pom-pom, that's another good painting tool as well. Cotton ball can get a little messy, but it works. So if you're struggling, you can use a different method as well. So I have my four stripes here. And now is the fun part. You can use anything you want to make the squiggles. So I'm gonna use the back of a pencil, so my pencil eraser. And I'm just gonna swirl it around 
in the paint any way I'd like. So here's my back of the pencil. And it looks like this. Okay? And if you don't have a pencil, if you have a Q-tip, Q-tips work really well also. I'm gonna use my Q-tip a few times, squiggle it around. and we'll put this over here to dry as well and lastly I'm gonna teach you how to make homemade watercolors so all you need is tin foil some washable markers and water okay so what you have to do is color a square or a rectangle using the washable marker so I'm gonna do about three colors so I have purple I have red and I have green I'll do so it'll look like this okay. and then you just need to dip a paintbrush into water off my paintbrush because it has the other paint on it. Okay, now that's clean. So I'm going to take my wet paintbrush and I'm going to put it in the purple paint. I mean the purple marker. See? You have some purple watercolor. So you can make any kind of collage, any kind of painting. Maybe you want to make your chameleon watercolored. Okay, so there's the red. You rinse it off in the water. And here's the green. Okay. So this is what it looks like and that would be another really cool way to make the hungry caterpillar pattern as well so i hope you can test out one of these painting methods at home and send in a picture of the finished product bye